I'm working on my quilt, my elephant abstractions quilt. And as you can see, I've gotten two ears and her eyes and her trunk done. Messy, messy room. <laughs> but I'm going to just put my camera up and show you uh, the process of um, putting these units together. It looks so complicated, but this pattern has been written so very well. And I just want to show you um, the, the, the process of how this pattern is put together. I'm here working on my quilt and I'm working as you could as you just saw I've done my my two sections of and my trunk this is the uh, uh, the ear sections and this is the trunk is it yeah that's in the frame and now I'm working on this section here number 40 to number 51 now I was slightly confused until I read the instructions up here um, about the orientation. This, when we're piecing this, this means the pattern pieces are facing us exactly as they are here. This is the paper face up here. And then it's mirror image when you go to sew them together on this grid here. Like 1837 is over here, but when it's flipped, it's over that way. And I was, I was seeing that um, the template side shown is all piecing di in, all, in all piecing diagrams is a mirror image of the finished side of your quilt. So I, I, before I read the instructions, I was having a little bit of a time with that. So I've done this unit, this unit, and this unit, which is this unit, this unit, this unit. Now I'm working on 38 to 51, which is over here, which will be flipped, the mirror side. So that's this unit right here that I'm working on. Now, it's exactly as it's shown here. What I'm saying, it's not, you don't see the point, because the diagram, the quilting instructions, very, very, very fine, is you place, you, 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 you take units 40 I, I pieced together 40 to 51 and that's all of these pieces right here that's all of these units right here I've already started but it tells you you don't go like you know like you know you don't go um, uh, 38 39 40 41 you don't do it that way you have to follow their specific directions which is right now we're piecing 40 and 41 so I've already done that which I put unit 40 and 41 together. And then you put together unit 42, which is there. And then the diagram tells you that you piece together 43 and 44, uh, and 44, 44 down here, which is down there. And then you take 43 and 44 and turn, uh, stitch it onto 45 on this seam here and then you add 46 right here so right here this unit here like this little rectangle here is this right here so now what I see is I have to take unit 38 and 39 so I find my 38 there's 39 I find my 38, here's my 38, and you place it, let me see if that's in the frame, yeah, you place it exactly as the diagram shows, so 38 goes above 39, so I can see, here's my 39, And there's my 38. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew together 38 and 39 on this. So here's 38 and here's 39. So with the papers facing me, what I do is I pick them up. I'm sewing this seam here. So I'm picking it up and I'm putting that seam together there. 
Now this is such a good pattern that what happens is you I put a, a pin right on that hopefully it'll work <laughs> right on that that uh dark line the seam seam allowance and hopefully look at that it comes right out that pin comes right out at that let me straighten it up that pin comes right out at that seam behind back there you see that so I know when I go over to my machine, I know that I can start, on, and this is the exact same way, I can, I can start that, pin, that seam to that seam right there. I know I can sew right along that seam, and then it, it will work out beautifully that that seam gets sewed perfectly. So that's right now what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sew together 38 and 39 with that, just like that. It's a little bit awkward. You have to figure it out. And then what next I'm going to do, it tells me then to attach the unit 38 and 39 to my 40 to 42 unit, which is this seam. So it just builds from there. It just builds from there. And as you can see, then with all of the rest of these, I'll just follow the diagram and build that unit there. And then very quickly... I will have this entire unit which ends up over here under my ear and next to my trunk. Now as you can see, I, on some of these, <clears throat> as I was saying to you, I'm not going to be um, this this B on the key here is would would have been the gold. Well, that's my that would have been my yellow background here, my gold background. I'm not doing that. So I just put a piece of muslin on that seam. I'm keeping the paper, and then when I go to sew it, you sew all of the units together with the paper. I'm just going to leave this paper on, and that will be sort of my yellow background. But then when it comes to appliqueing. I'll just cut away and I'll fold this under and have a nice edge. I'll cut it away quarter of an inch, half an inch maybe, and fold that under this 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 um muslin so I can then applique my elephant onto my background, which I'll see how that works out. But this is um it's it's, it's a very, very, very um clever way. Of paper piecing, um, I was of, of foundation piecing. I was looking at another, a uh, few other quilt patterns I have. Um, I have Judy Niemeyer uh, quilt works patterns, which are very, very, very in depth. Um, very, 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 very hard. Um, you have to be ultra, ultra, ultra organized. Even from square one before you cut any fabric, there's a hundred steps to do. Um, but I, I was looking at that, doing, following a lot of tutorials on on their or her paper piecing, which is done excellently well because her paper piecing uh, uh, gives you foundation piecing gives you the templates to cut. As you can see, as I was showing you, I have all my fabrics, and I'm just sort of slicing and dicing off pieces of fabric, which I'm fine with. I, I'm fine, but hers, Judy Niemeyer. Everything is on the everything is on the grain, which is awesome. But I think like so so a lot of this and a lot of there's two schools of thought, a lot of foundation piecing, or oh, you don't want it to be biased, but once it's stabilized into the seam and stitch and, and quilted down, I, I'm fine with the things being on the bias. Judy Niemeyer takes ten million times more steps and figures out everything on the grain, which is awesome. But so in comparison, what I'm saying is this quilt pattern, even though it looks incredibly difficult, has not been all that difficult. And I'm not a beginner foundation piecer, but I'm certainly not an experienced foundation piecer. And I'm finding it okay. I'm finding it okay. Um, so yeah. So here, let me take you over again. Oh, my, my messy room. <laughs> But not to show you the top of her yet. To show you the top of my lovely elephant. She's so pretty. Love it. All right, folks. See ya. Bye. I was just talking about um, Judy Niemeyer uh, quilt patterns. I have, I have a couple of them. Let me just get these out. Um, I have bought this 
I have bought these um, over the years. <laughs> and here they are. <laughs> here they are. I have about four of them. Um, this is an older one. I'm just seeing. This is from 2002. Um, this is called the, the Feathered Star. Now, this is the pattern. Uh, this is the pattern. <laughs> I just want to show you. It's a flipping book. <laughs> oh, my word. Now, it, it, this is this is shocking. And this pattern was $75 just for this pattern uh, to make to make this quilt. It's called the Feathered Star. OK, now look at this. Now, I was looking on I was looking on um, online on YouTube tutorials um, and there are workshops uh, obviously for this foundation piecing and again this is just for your information I don't know if any of you beginners or maybe even experienced quarters have made any, any of these um, I'm certainly not an experienced quilter and I was watching tutorials and I'm like oh, are you kidding and you you actually as I was saying there's there's a hundred steps before you even cut a piece of fabric um, and and it, it tells you and I I'm not I'm not stupid but I was reading this and I'm thinking where in the world do you begin even with the instructions um, it, it, it's shocking the amount of work that you have to do to organize it. The actual sewing isn't hard, as you saw. I, I mean, you just sew a seam and then you flip it over and you have a point. But the organization. Now, Judy Niemeyer, she, um, uh, as I was saying, she includes in this, in this manuscript of papers, she includes all of the templates. So this is, this is, um, you know, like you saw my basic, basic way I'm, I'm piecing my units together. Well, here's a unit. That's fine. I, I, I understand that. But, you know, here's the seam. I, I understand that and everything. Um, but what it is, is she gives you the template to, in, in this pack, to, sew, to cut out this piece here. Whereas I'm just sort of chopping off pieces left, right, and center, which it's working fine. It's working fine. But they do it like a, it's a science. Obviously, it's a science. I'm thinking these people literally must be rocket science <laughs> to, to have designed these patterns. I mean, they're, they're shockingly awesome, which I will, I will then put away <laughs> and put neatly back on my shelf. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day. I don't know. Um, I was, I was, I was, I was saying. Anybody, you just look up, just look up foundation paper piecing by Judy Niemeyer. Um, uh, obviously for experienced, experienced, experienced challenged quilters or uh, quilt, uh, quilt challenge. Um, this is a 96 by 96 inch quilt. Look at the, look at them. I've seen them at quilt shows made up. Oh my word. Now this is an older one, and it doesn't have quite as many papers here that doesn't have quite as many templates but look at this so obviously the key is organization Ten thousand binder clips you need and uh a, you, you actually deconstruct the 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 um the one uh quilt the one person who was doing this they actually deconstructed the actual pattern into a binder which made a lot of sense and when it's broken down anything that's broken down um, you know, the, the, the hundreds and hundreds of steps broken down, you know, you, you, with organization, it, it's a, it's a good thing. But that's my, that's my little pat, my Judy Niemeyer patterns. How much was that one? That was only $17. Oh, it was half price. Oh, it was half price. Yeah. Um, that was like ages ago, way, way back when I first started quilting. Isn't that funny? I was, I was like, oh, I can do that. Um, and there, then this one sat, I think this is an obsolete pattern right now. Um, I don't think they have this on their website anymore. This Jumpin' Jack Flash, because it's it's an old one. That's uh, 16 years old. Um, so what I'm saying is my little paper piecing here, which you show me how I organize it, is quite simple. So this is not as daunting as I thought, thought it was. It's not. And it's coming along. Thanks. <laughs>